Hi, Dan from Footsteps here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how a quick two minute change to your Joomla website can generate over 100 clicks per month. First, I'm going to explain how it works and how you may need to change things going forward. But if you already understand Image SEO and you just want to jump ahead into the implementation, then you can skip to the timestamp shown on the screen. So, Image SEO is probably one of the most underestimated ways to get free traffic to your website right now. Um, and I think a lot of it is basically from a misunderstanding or, um, or just not understanding the, that Google has changed the way it does things. Because for a while you didn't really get much traffic from it, but they've changed things now so that uh, it does actually push traffic to your website. And this is what this uh, I've got on the screen right here is demonstrating. I've actually this is the search console for one of my kitchen design clients. And as you can see, I've filtered the search type by images and I've got the last three months showing and we've got 307 clicks so it's about 100 clicks a month uh, which is obviously 100 clicks they wouldn't have got if I didn't implement this strategy that I'm, I'm going to share to you, uh, share with you a little bit later so I'm just going to show you how this works basically the way that, the way that you're going to get more traffic from this by implementing this strategy and what it is is Google has this image search right here where you can type in something and it will bring back pictures uh, of the thing you've typed in uh, you might think I, <laughs> this video is going a bit slow because I'm explaining something like, you know, but if you was to put in something here, a lot of people will look for ideas before reaching out to a company. So if I want a new kitchen, like this client here has, um, I'm going to search for designs because I don't just want any kitchen. You don't just say I want a kitchen, you know, you want a specific type of kitchen and let's say you're looking for a traditional kitchen you can come in here and you can have a look through at the different traditional kitchen designs um, and then you could have also searched for something a little bit more specific and this is something I'll get onto a little bit later but we've got here U-shaped kitchens <coughs> uh, U-shaped traditional kitchens and as we go through here I might find one of these and I might say you know what this one right here or this one right here this is the sort of thing I'm after so let's go ahead and see you know if I can buy it off these guys. Now if you look here, where it used to say view image uh, a while back in Google, they've now changed it to this visit and this actually takes you straight through to their website. So if we click on this, you see that it loads up and we've got this kitchen here and as you can imagine this could be very profitable for this company if I was actually a qualified visitor to their website, uh, which I'm not, but you know, it does happen and as for an example, this one here with, with the kitchen design client I have here, um, just last week there was an inquiry come through from a image, um, it was a, so they come through an image and they landed on a gallery page that I've created and they reached out and they basically asked how much would it be to get a kitchen island that, you know, was in this picture. So. It really works, it really converts, um, and it really drives real traffic to your site. As you can see right here, 307, and we have this visit right here. So I'm now gonna go on to explain how you can get in here, how you can get your website's image images to show here. Um, and then I'm gonna explain a little bit about the problems with the way Joomla is set up out of the box. Getting your images in here is actually very easy to do and it should just work straight out of the box but for whatever reason Joomla hasn't set it up that way. Um, but for your best chance to get in here all you have to really do is name your uh, image whatever the word is you want you know that describes it but that is a keyword as well. So you don't want to be spammy and, and try and get in here with irrelevant stuff. Um, you want to make sure it describes it. So for example if we put a, a traditional kitchen uh, if we put with, for example, with island. So here we go. So this this here is a keyword. Um, if we've got a traditional kitchen with an island, then this is what we want to call the the image. Um, you might want to be more descriptive still. You might say for this one here. Uh, I'm not sure if there's. Okay, so what this one? So it looks like this three seats here. So you may want to call this one traditional kitchen with. Actually, there's multiple kitchen islands there, but you know, with seating for free, something along those lines. Uh, this would probably be a better example. We've seen, you know, with free seats, that stuff, sort of, that sort of stuff, gets searched quite a lot. So, let's go ahead with this this term here: traditional island with traditional kitchen with island. 
you'd want to go ahead and call your image file name traditional kitchen with island like this with the hyphens instead of spaces um, and then you know whatever it is dot jpeg and then the alternative text on the image you want to just be you know whatever it is like that as I say one thing I do want to just emphasize because it is important is don't do this in a spammy way make sure it actually describes the image and if you do if you can go into more depth then go ahead and you know you're going to be more relevant to those people that are searching it anyway which means you're going to be more likely for them to actually go ahead and click on your image so the more descriptive the better you know you might want to go ahead and with this one here you might want to say so this image if I was naming this I might name this one like white traditional kitchen with a you know I might go ahead and call it something like that um, yeah that's what I'd probably call that one white traditional kitchen with island and then that would be the file name and then the alt tag as well obviously the only other part I need to really point out with this is after you know these images have to be on a web page somewhere for them to actually be crawled and indexed by Google uh, unless you have an image sitemap of course but your best bet is to just you know when you're building out new pages put the images on there make sure you name them don't just call them like one.jpg which is something I see all the time and I still have no idea why people are doing this but I just think it's because I don't understand the things I'm talking about you know go ahead name them whatever it is descriptive give them the alt tag and now I'm going to explain uh, how this you know the problem with Joomla and how you can actually get around it and then start getting the traffic that you actually deserve to be getting for your images so by default Joomla actually has a line of code in it that will stop Google from actually being able to index your images in the Google image search um, which means that you're losing out on a lot of traffic if you don't make this fix uh, I'm not really sure why what the benefit of, of having that in there is to Joomla there's a lot of strange things that it does um, but it's something that's easy to fix and I've mentioned it in my blog post here about Joomla SEO in 2019 um, so basically the standard Joomla file looks like this um, as you can see here and in here it says to disallow the images uh, as well as the templates and also media um, I usually allow access to a lot of these things if so some components will need access because there'll be image galleries and things like that where they get stored in here but the, the absolute main one is this images folder because your Joomla media uh, all goes into here when you've got your uh, where you upload images to they all go into this images folder so you really need to make sure that you get rid of this um, and also this templates because your template file folders will often have images in like your logo and things of that nature so um, it is easy to do but you do have to have a little bit of coding knowledge I guess um, not a lot but what you basically need to do is go into your uh, FTP client so I use FileZilla uh, and then you want to look for this robots.txt folder uh, go ahead and edit that and then what we want to do is basically where you see here it says images if we just put a hashtag here uh, this hashtag in the robots folder actually works as a comment so that no longer applies because it's commented out uh, and I'm going to stick it on this one here too and then if I just go ahead and save this and then I need to make sure I upload it back to the server and now the images will be able to be indexed and that's really all there is to it so after you make that change um, and your your HT access looks like this now you're going to be able to um, get all your index uh, get all your images indexed in Google and it's you know literally it's going to take you minutes to do it so let me know if you like this video this is kind of different to the normal videos I do because I don't usually do videos about SEO but that is my main job so you know it's something I know quite a lot about if you're interested in more sort of SEO Joomla related stuff then drop a comment below uh, just l give me a little bit of feedback on what you think of these videos if I'm you know I know worry a little bit that I might talk too much about unnecessary things um, so yeah just let me know what you think and if you did find this helpful make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be doing more videos I'm just not sure if I'll do ones like this anymore it depends on the feedback so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video